private investigator Paul O'Sullivan was released a night after a dramatic, a dramatic rather arrest. Well, Paul O'Sullivan's lawyer said the arrest was in contravention of a high court order from November 2016. O'Sullivan was charged with offences including fraud, intimidation, and extortion. In a late evening development, Judge Lechotti read out the order stipulating that Paul O'Sullivan should be given 48 hours to hand himself to the police in the case of an arrest warrant. It should now be 2400 more. <coughs> the applicant, no, the application is removed from the home. Three, in the event of the Minister of Police or any of his officers wishing to arrest the applicant, they will comply with paragraph 3 of the order of this court under case number 753780-16 to which the Minister of the Police consented. Four, costs are reserved for later well, we are relieved about the outcome. We came to obtain the release of Mr. O'Sullivan and we succeeded. And that's what we were here for. We are delighted about the outcome and we are delighted uh, for the guidance that's been given by the judge uh, in, in guiding the parties towards reaching this agreement. So Mr. O'Sullivan will sleep at home tonight. We will make sure of that and we will pursue this matter further. There are separate issues that's not been dealt with tonight. The issue of costs that's not been dealt with. The issue of contempt of court, the contempt of an order that was there and that was agreed to by the Minister of Police. We will deal that with that at a later stage. But that is that are not issues for the urgent court to determine on. We will do that at the appropriate time. It's important for the media to understand <coughs> that although we know Faklani is behind this, he's brought thugs in from the northwest province. Policemen with a record, and a very serious record. This General Mabula is the same guy that arrested illegally Kheri Nau uh, in order to thwart the Celebi investigation. I was involved in that investigation. The same General Mabula is the person that arrested General Boysen in KZN. He did it late in the afternoon so that the Boysen and his, his, his members were all dragged off to, to the cells and had to spend the night in the cells. Why didn't they arrest him in the morning? Their modus operandi is to arrest people on a Friday evening or any evening that they can keep them as long as possible in jail. And that modus operandi is now being exposed and it's illegal. In the case of Sarah Jane Trent, the charges against her are trumped up, as are the charges against me. And if they think that we're going to be scared by Major General Mabula, who is nothing more than a sidekick of Paklani, they've got another thing coming. I am hopeful that in the very near future, Paklani himself will be arraigned in this court. Meanwhile, Paul O'Sullivan's assistant, Sarah Jane Trent, appeared at the Pretoria Magistrates Court today. Sarah was arrested on Friday and was released on late Sunday evening. She has been charged with impersonating an IPAD official. The case has been postponed to the 19th of May and earlier speaking to ANN7, she maintained her innocence. They came to the office um, on Friday afternoon about 20 past four um, and the warrant of arrest was actually issued on the 8th, so on the Wednesday. So they waited till Friday afternoon at half past four to come and arrest me. Um, they then took me to a petrol station on Marlborough Drive and kept me there for about an hour and a half. Uh, during that time, they realized that they forgot to take my cell phone, which they wanted to download. A lot of other honorable South Africans paid the supreme sacrifice and died so that this country could be free and have a constitution, the best constitution in the world. And we have now a situation where the criminal justice system is being taken over by criminals. And when they are being exposed, they are abusing the constitution. The people that have sworn to uphold the law are abusing the law. And this is going to stop. Well, for more on the Paul O'Sullivan case and as well as the Sarah Jane Trent case, we have NN7 reporter Calden Ong who joining me live. Very good morning to you, Calden. Can you tell us what exactly transpired today in court? 
Well, uh, it was a very brief appearance made by uh, uh, Sarah Jane Trent as well as a counsel and uh, Paula Sullivan also came to the court accompanying his consultant and uh, the court said of course the it's been the matter's been postponed to 19th May. Uh, Sarah Jane remember on Sunday when she was granted bail she had to pay 5000 rand. So basically the case has been postponed uh, uh, to 19th May and of course the charges like you men mentioned is impersonating and our iPad officer. And uh, let's take a look at, uh, she's in the middle of the situation between Paulo Sullivan and Plohane. Is there any depth to the charges that have been made against her? Because they do say that it is bogus charges that have been placed against her.